What is going on guys? Okay, so today's question is, how long does a moving process normally take? Okay, so that's an amazing question that comes in from Jaime Santos. Now, he continued to, to say, uh, what if I wanna you know fit in a couple of things to do on that day or or here, let me go ahead and clarify. Uh, most people have other things to do or might wanna schedule other things to get around the move, which you know makes perfect sense, right? So let's assume you maybe you have to go pick up your kids at a certain time and you wanna make sure that the move is done before that specific time or maybe you have to work on that day and, and that's essentially the only day that you can move because the contract says that you need to move in or move out on that specific day. Um, not everybody could get a day out because there's a lot of other things in the background that, you know, us as movers, you know, all we're trying to do is make sure that we get the move done within the time frame that you want to do. So the first thing I would do is try to call the moving company as far ahead as you can. Just make sure that the day that you want to move, that they have availability. So, of course, you want to find out if the mover can actually conclude the, the service that you're asking for on that day, right? Okay, so then it the next thing comes in where... Uh, what exactly and how long would it take to to move? Okay, so let's assume I'm moving a two bedroom apartment. You know, I'm thinking, okay, so we need to move around two mattresses. Uh, we need to move around maybe two bedroom sets, uh, a four uh, four chair kitchen table and entertainment center and maybe you know a couple of couches. So I'm thinking a move like that going into another first floor bedroom apartment or if it's going into storage, it should take maybe about two hours, three hours max, I'm thinking. Um, of course, it does depend because if, if that same person has a neighbor that has the same amount of items, but now they have a lot more boxes and they're also taking appliances, then that does change things. You know, not to mention, let's assume that same person, you know, lives on a second floor or third floor, then the move is going to take longer Longer because uh, stairs do affect the or do impact the time frame of, of the moving service right uh, not to mention um, uh, so sorry so what I would recommend would be try to be as prepared as you can for the moving day right so this means make sure that all the labels are packed all the boxes are near the front entrance that you've emptied out your furniture that way on moving day the movers could just work as quickly as possible now there's no specific way for movers to say, hey, you know what, I know this is gonna take so long because at the end of the day, it, you know, um, there's just so many variables that, that can impact the move. So I'll give you an example. Recently, I did a move that went out of town and for out of town jobs, I don't charge by the hour. It has its own type of rate. But when I did the walkthrough, I thought, hey, you know what, this is a fairly quick move, you know, um, you know, they have the master bedroom, they have two, two, uh, two, um, uh, Bed, two other bedrooms, right? So it's a three bedroom home. Then you have the couches and then you have the kitchen table. I'm thinking, hey, you know what? Maybe something like this could, could you know, take about three hours, maybe four hours. Anyways, I brought in my crew and we started doing the loading, right? That move ended up taking about seven or eight hours. What really took up the time was the fact that there was a lot of boxes, a lot of small things that weren't really packed. So we just had to squeeze, squeeze them in, in between like, for example, shelves, or we put, you know, dressers, we put boxes, and then on top we would put, you know, the, the clothes and stuff. So we were trying to, to make sure that everything, first of all, fit within the moving truck. So it didn't require another trip, of course, especially if it's going out of town. But anyways, um, uh, my point here is that that move went from a three hour estimate to eight hours because of the fact that um you know basically things weren't exactly packed or not everything was in one place now don't get me wrong you know there was a lot of other variables you know because each move is different but you know that's an example i wanted to put out right so as a personal recommendation if i'm the person that's moving what i would do is just make sure that everything is boxed up um that you make sure that uh that everything is ready near the front entrance and out of the way that way movers could you know walk in and out and movers are just getting the things and we're quickly loading and when we're unloading you know we're also able to to quickly unload especially if you if you put numbers on on the boxes so for example if it's going into master bedroom put number one if it goes into bedroom two put number two if it goes into bed, bedroom three label that as number three so as movers are unloading <clears throat> we know exactly where these boxes are going into or in other times customers just say hey leave everything by the by the dining room or the entertainment center or i'm sorry uh, the the living room <clears throat> wherever the the front door opens into and they'll take care of that so i completely understand that um and so let's give the example if you're moving a storage unit are you moving a 10 by 10 10 by 15 10 by 20 10 by 30 one storage two storage how far are they from from each other you know are they going to be going into a, a one story home two story three story into an apartment you know so 
all of that, you know, it's it's harder to actually pinpoint exactly where it's going to go. But what I can go ahead and say is just on moving day, try to separate it, you know, um, as much as you can. Now, I'm not saying that we take long. Of course, like I said, uh, we do charge by the hour. So we're conscious about how long it's going to take for us to, to work this type of move. <clears throat> and we want to make sure that we're working as quickly as possible. But it does also depend on our customer's preparedness to for our arrival, right? Um, anyways, there's a lot of factors that I, I could squeeze into this video and there's a lot of things that are just, you know, bombarding me right now. Uh, for example, is there, uh, we've had situations where, um, you know, we're going into parking, uh, into an apartment and sometimes the neighbors get upset and we have to park somewhere else because, you know, they didn't get permission from the property owner to park in a certain area. You know, so th there's factors like that you can uh, go ahead and do. Uh, make sure you get permission from the property owner if you're already renting to for us to park at certain spaces. Uh, that way they can contemplate, you know, in case uh, we're going to be blocking off certain parts of the road or if, if we need to move around, we can move. So it's happening where, you know, we're parked, we're loading and then somebody says, hey, you know, move your, the truck. So we need to move it and then repark it, pull out the ramp and everything. So again, uh, it really depends on the preparedness. Uh, guys, <clears throat> sorry, I didn't mean to ramble on, but you know, there's just so much information whenever you need to move. Uh, long story short, what would I do is just be as prepared as possible. How long does it take? Um, it does depend again on the on the things that we're moving and the types of properties that we're going in and out of. Um, what I would recommend is just try to schedule your day specifically for the move. And if you can fit in anything else in between, that's great. Um, but you know, I'll just recommend try to contemplate for the move and go from there. The moving company will be able to hopefully give you a rough estimate over the phone. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.